Pan but dream John into this great stadium they come Scotland once more with hope France the defending champions with an expectation that they can restore a reputation battered by some dreadful defeat since they claimed last year's Six Nations but however unsettled France may look it's worth noting that in this championship they are very very rarely beaten good take by Gray in the heart of the line out and once more here comes De Luca and there goes the ball into French hands and here is the counter-attack so dangerous Rougeri cantering forward and it's a kick and it's a chase and it's surely going to be a try and it is Maxime Medar opens things for France the start so promising for Scotland but in one fell swoop France strike and that is the difference between the two sides one opportunity creativeness there's the mistake just watch the ball is turned over does it to Is he in front? No. Checks his run. Great bounce. Medard scores. Captain Dusotoir is there. And Scottish defence has to be good now. Back for the drop goal attempt from Tranduk. A lazy swipe of the boots and it's through. And France stretch the lead. Up to within metres of the line and diving for it. And the advantage there for Scotland, patience still required. Still on the left side of that fringe, try. Oh, and throw and in for the try, Scotland score. And it looks like Captain Kellogg himself who has reached and got the touchdown. These have at least been clean scrums and another one from France where they seem to have the edge and have the drive and did Scotland pop up there, held at the back by Aaron Nordicke. Advantage penalty, it must be a, a penalty try it is, says Wayne think. Barnes. Scotland will hope it is no more than that, the penalty try, sufficient punishment. Well, the odds against Scotland surviving without conceding a try there were long indeed, so it proved. They even put, you know, Nathan Hines at the back of the scrum in the number eight position to yeah, add his weight, but it had to come, didn't it? Turnover, well done. Two passes, two passes. Yeah. Little chip through from Blair for Max Evans. The Tranduk scoops it in field to Poitrano. And Poitrano runs into Richie Gray. Here he goes. Medar and support now for France. Ball oh, by Tranduk. Oh, wonderful. Offloading. And now he's, he's in. For he's France. in. Aaron Nordeke is free. And Aaron Nordeke for the line. And for France's try. And what a what a score from France, what a score from Aaron Odoki. He is mobbed by his teammates and France are moving clear. Watch this magic pass, there it is, there's the man that's done it. It's play on, come up a Scottish shot, but just watch, the injection of pace. That's the second row in there, watch this pass between the legs. Dummy numbers on the right, the dummy show on go under the sticks. Applause from the crowd. It's all Scotland could do. Kelly Brown is through. That's and the try is there. And Scotland have a second try in the Stade de France to celebrate. That's well played. It's poor defence because they shoot at the line. They overread the, they overread the play. Great response. Well done. Good run by Brown. Just watch. Max Evans. Someone who keeps that ball alive, but keeps it alive only for France now, Maxime Medar. This is dangerous. Oh, and Medar is through, and Medar has pace, and he has support in field, oh. and France come again, and a try surely now, and Great the support try. is there, and it is a glorious French try, and it comes for Damien Try. They're so dangerous, loose play, incredible. Well... Former Perpignan teammates Heinz and Mass look on and smile and will appreciate this. Still Scottish ball. There's Richie Vernon. Here's Ansbro. That's it. Oh, and good ball to Sean Lamont. And Sean Lamont, one Scores. man to beat. And Lamont for the line for a third try for Scotland. Well, how often have they scored three tries in the Stade de France? France winners here, 34 points to 21.